good morning and welcome to another day of my vlog today is thursday and um i have a date with b if you have been on my channel for a minute and during my university days you will remember my first ever roommate bianca um so i'm meeting up with her today we're just having a little catch-up session with each other we haven't seen each other in literally years so we're just going to the vna waterfront and we're just going to sit at the food court have something to nibble on and then we will be going to the aquarium later on this evening i'm so excited that is basically the itinerary for the day i'm going to show you guys my outfit and yeah i feel good today i feel good today i had a little bit of a cry session this morning <laughs> i was feeling a little bit overwhelmed um so yeah i just had a moment with god this morning which was very very beautiful and kind of brought me back to to center and you know calm my nerves a little bit and um yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing so this is the outfit excuse the mess behind me <laughs> excuse the mess behind me but i'm wearing my pearl earrings from exact i made a little creative situation with my hair i'm wearing this top that i bought from shein the pants are from pip and i'm going to be wearing these slides i feel as though they show off my pedicure they show off my pedicure really really nicely so i'm going to be wearing those and they pair nicely with my pearls of course i'm going to be carrying my new um i forgot the name my new where is it my new polo bag yes i'm going to be carrying my new polo bag and i'm thinking of wearing these black shades because i think they tie in very very nicely one thing about me i'm going to abuse these shades but i feel like they tie in really really nicely with the fit it is said to be cold today so i don't know if i want to wear my new jacket <laughs> or if i'll be doing too much because i don't know the extent of the cold outside i do know that the vna waterfront is very very cold so i don't know i don't know i don't know but yeah so i'm just sitting here you know thinking about the term of your frontal lobe developing you know, when you turn 25, I recently turned 25, and I always thought about it as something that would kind of like come so abruptly and be like, boof, like, you get that ah sound going because your frontal lobe is now developed. But to me, it came, it came very gently. <laughs> it came very, very gently. And um, it came with calmness. And it came in multiple revelations. And it uh, took me a moment to recognize what the heck was going on. But then I was like, oh, it's the frontal lobe. It's developing. It has fully developed. And one of the things that was, a, was, was the first revelation was something regarding my relationship with God. And it was how God has always catered to me. How God has always loved me so much that he has constantly orchestrated things to ensure my comfort. God has loved me so passionately that he has always been someone who understands what it is that I need. You know, he, one thing in particular was the fact that he constantly recognizes my need to be eased into things. I'm not the kind of person that can handle spontaneity. I'm not the kind of person that can handle rush. I constantly need to be eased into things. And rush makes me nervous. Abrunt mornings make me nervous. Spontaneity makes me nervous. And he has always understood that and been like conscious of that. And that is why he has orchestrated things in my life that allow me to continuously be eased into it. I spend so much time wanting to leave the small town that I currently live in because I felt that, you know, I'm, I'm blocked in. And I feel like I want to spread my wings. But God understood that so many things make me nervous and so many things make me uncomfortable that he ensured that I was stuck in that small town. <laughs> that I was stuck in that small town 
so he can ease me into becoming. He eased me into the position that I am in now, in a place filled with people that I kind of, I would say, grew up around. Because he needed those people to mentor me. He needed those people to lead me. He needed those people to guide me into becoming. And it's, it's actually so beautiful and it makes me a bit emotional. A lot of things make me emotional nowadays. Um, it makes me emotional, you know, to just see how impatient I'm constantly being. Like, oh, you know, I want to do this, God. I want to go there. And, and, and I haven't recognized that he was easing me into becoming. There have been a number of revelations. 25 is coming on strong. Okay, she's not patient.
next day. Now, if you didn't know, if you just walked in, we have something we call the affirmation screen. That's where you write. Thank you.